Hey guys, hey everybody. Uh, I want to do a quick video um, on Xbox One controllers. Um, you know, it, I love this controller. It's really nice. It's you know the latest controller out uh, for the Xbox One series. And you know, I always wondered, you know, wouldn't it be great if I can actually play PC games on my Windows 10 PC uh, with this controller without the need of having an Xbox One? console and uh, lo and behold our good friends at Microsoft have created this cool little device here called the wireless adapter for Windows and all it is it is a, uh, a wireless transmitter uh, that you plug into any USB port on your Windows 10 PC so any PC running Windows 10 that includes your Surface Pro tablets as well, because they're Windows 10, uh, or any s tablet that has Windows 10 on it. Pretty much any any PC, you know, that has Windows 10, um, and of course an available USB slot. You simply plug this adapter in, and uh, the driver should automatically in be installed on the PC. Um, and then once you've done that, you simply press this little button here on the side here, and I'll show you the actual unit in a second you press that button and of course you just simply press your pairing button or turn on of course turn on the controller and you press the pairing button on the Xbox One and the two of these will connect and you will pretty much be able to play your PC games because your PC now will be able to detect this controller and you can you know whatever game you're playing you can map the keys do whatever you want to do but you can pretty much play all of your favorite PC games using the Xbox One controller. Now there is also a feature on the Xbox One if you do have an Xbox One console um, you can stream Xbox One games from your Xbox One control um, Xbox One console directly through your PC and you can use obviously the Xbox One controller to play those games um, but you know for that to happen um, you would have to use one of these anyway so that you can use your, your wireless gamepad now I do have a video where I do show you using this controller uh, playing um, streaming Xbox One games on a PC. Um, at the time though I had to use a wire to connect the, uh, it was a mini USB wire that I connected between this and the PC because at the time I didn't have one of these nice cool adapters but now I do. Um, you could technically play your Xbox One games streamed on your PC somewhere in your house while you have a wireless Xbox One controller. But enough rambling, so all I want to do is pretty much show you how easy it is to set this up on a Windows 10 PC and I'm actually going to use and do a quick demo of uh, one of my games from the Steam network and anyone who's not familiar with Steam, if you own a PC and you love games, simply Google Steam, S-T-E-A-M, M as in Monday, and uh, you'll have fun. Anyway, let's move on. Let me take it out the box and show you. It's nothing spectacular. You pretty much get what you see in the box. It's a simple little dongle looking device. And there you see it. And it has the Xbox One logo on it. It has your pairing button here on the top. And that's pretty much it. And just like a stick of gum. And of course, here's your USB port uh, plug. All right. Um, for those of you who are interested, if, is there anything else in there? Yes, you do have a uh, USB extender. Looks like a male to female cable. Um, all right, and you have some quick setup guide, and you also have, I guess, warranty information. Yeah, regulatory and warranty guide, which I rarely read. So those of you who are not tech savvy, as I said, it's very easy to configure. But even if you need instructions, they give you all the instructions there. And they're pretty much saying that you can use it on a tablet with a USB interface, just like you know, a Windows tablet, like a Surface Pro tablet, for example. Uh, you can use it on a regular PC that has Windows 10, of course, and a USB port on the side. And you can even use it on a desktop, you know, those, you know, those good old-fashioned towers or gaming PCs. Yeah, once you have a USB port connection, and what they've done now, I see that cable that I showed you. If you have a big desktop PC, 
Um, most most desktop PCs have all their ports in the back, right? So what you want to do, because you need to, it's it's a, it's a radio transmitter, so you need to have kind of like line of sight between this and your gamepad. So you actually just connect this cable in uh, an available USB port in the back of your PC, and then bring this to the front. This cable will come to the front, and then you just connect the USB. Just connect the uh, little dongle, and then have this sticking out and facing out front, in front of the PC, or put it on top of the PC, so that this can actually see it and it can pair pretty easily. So that's what this cable is for. Now, a lot of modern PCs anyway do have USB ports in the front, like the towers. So you may not need to use this, but it's it's good that our friends at Microsoft did include this um, this extender cable, right? Okay, so we have our Windows 10 PC, we have our Xbox One controller, and our Xbox white, um, radio here. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to plug this into an available USB port on my laptop. You hear that sound, it means that it's connected, and in mere seconds, um, the drivers are installed, and it's set up. So it's already automatically set up, so you have to do nothing, just plug it in. Next thing I do is turn on my controller. I see it flashing. All right, just stop in a second. Now the next thing I do is I'm just gonna press the pair button on the Xbox stick, and it's actually flashing because it's looking to pair. I press now the pair button on the controller as well. It's flashing quickly. Okay, so repaired. Uh, the LED light on the stick is on solid, and as you can see on the controller, that light is on solid as well. So we're repaired, and we are now ready to play some games. So I did. Let me just um, download this game. I got 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 it from the Steam Network called Dirt Three. It's a really cool driving game. Give it a second there to start up. Now what's really cool about this game, um, you can actually feel the force feedback as well. So this game actually provides that input into the controller, so I can feel the vibration while I'm ra racing, which is really cool. Not bad, third place. So that ladies and gentlemen is how easy it is to connect your Xbox One controller to your PC and you can play all of your favorite PC games as well as you can stream Xbox One games directly onto your Windows 10 PC from your Xbox One console. But if you don't have an Xbox One console but you have one of these, all you need to do is get yourself an Xbox wireless adapter for Windows and you can enjoy all the sweet features of the Xbox One controller and as I said just now while playing this racing game called Dirt 3 which I got from the Steam Network I can actually feel all the vibrations as well 
electrical force feedback uh, through this as well. Um, and that came through the wireless adapter into the controller. Now, I do have links below this page where you can get all of this stuff that you see on, on this video. Um, but before I leave, um, you know, I always love to showcase gameplay on my large screen TV. So I do have a, a um, wireless media adapter uh, connected to the back of my 52 inch television. So what I'm going to do is actually just leave this setup as is, but let me just um, connect this up to the large screen TV so you can see uh, one more piece of gameplay on the large screen. And what I'm going to do is actually just showcase how well the Microsoft wireless media adapter, which is behind the TV, how well it works. Um, now if you want to know more about this adapter that you can put on your TV that enables you to stream uh, content from your PC uh, or any Miracast enabled device to a TV, um, I do have, should have a link on the right hand of the screen where I do a demo of that device as well. So one more piece of quick gameplay on the large screen TV using the same setup and uh, you guys have a great evening. Alright, bye. So I have my um, Microsoft wireless display adapter uh, on one of the HDMI ports behind my TV. So I have it on port number 3, so I just went to port number 3 on the TV and this is what you see normally. So on my Windows 10 PC, I'm just going to side swipe here and I'm going to connect to, there should be something here called connect, there you go. And um, right there, MS Display Adapter 94 comes up, so I'm just going to click that, that. Again, if you need to get full, more details on this display adapter, uh, check the one of the links on the right-hand side of my screen, where I do have a video on this display adapter. Welcome to Kenya, home of the Safari Rally. Xbox One controller, wireless connectivity to a Windows 10 PC, playing a Steam game called Dirt 3, and I also have a wireless link to my big screen TV using a Microsoft, Microsoft wireless media adapter. Again, all the stuff is below this video if you're interested in buying the stuff off of Amazon. And uh, you guys have fun. I'm going to continue playing this game. <laughs> Bye. Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen.
to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well um, and the good news is you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know it would automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address of course to, to contact the winner to tell them hey you've won something um, and you know it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And of course the newsletter will have you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day. Bye.